Hello and welcome to the theory of computation lectures. In the last class, we introduced ourselves to DFS. In this class, we will solve some practice problems on DFA design. So let's start by asking the first question, which is to design a machine over input alphabet 0 and 1 to accept strings starting with 1, 0. So whenever you are given a problem like this, first try to understand what kind of a language will be accepted by the DFA that you are going to design. So let's try to think what kind of a language will be accepted by our DFA. The question says the DFA should accept strings starting with 1, 0. So all possible strings which start with 1, 0 will be accepted by our DFA. For example, string 1, 0 itself will be accepted, right? 1, 0, 0 also starts with 1, 0. Similarly, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 and so on. All strings starting with 1, 0 will be accepted by our DFA. Now, when we try to design the DFA, the first thing is to try to make a machine which will accept the smallest possible string in the language. So, what is the smallest possible string in this language? The smallest possible string is 1, 0. So, let's first design a machine which will accept this string, 1, 0. Okay? So, now let's design a DFA which accepts string 1, 0. So, we will of course have an initial state in our DFA as we saw in our last class and then from the initial state, if we get a 1, we go to state B and then in state B, if we get a 0, we go to state C. State C will be the final set because the string 1, 0 should be accepted. So this is a machine which accepts string 1, 0. Once we have designed a machine which accepts the smallest possible string in the language, the next step is to complete the machine. What do we mean by completing a machine? That means, for example, in state A, we have given a transition for input symbol 1 but we have not given a transition for input symbol 0. So we must complete the machine by assigning a transition for every input symbol for every state in the machine. Right now the machine has three states. So let's look at state A and see whether we can complete this state. So in state A, if we get 1, we go to state B. What will happen if we get a 0? So now think about it. If we get a 0 in state A, that means the string is starting with 0. Then is it possible that the string will ever start with 1, 0? The answer is no, right? Because the first symbol is 0. So there is no way that that machine can accept a string like that. So if that is the case, then let us create another state called D. So in state A, if we get 0, we will go to state D. And we know that when we hit state D, there is no way that the machine can accept strings like this, which start with 0. So if that is the case, we put a loop in state D. So after this, whether irrespective of whether we get 1 or 0, doesn't really matter, we will remain in state D. Now this kind of a state is called a dead state. A dead state is a state from which there is no way possible to reach a final state. So we call D a dead state because moment we hit D, we know that the string started with 0. So it will never start with 1, 0. Hence, all strings which start with 0 cannot be accepted, cannot be accepted by our machine. Okay. So now we have completed state A. Let's look at state B. From state B, if we get a 0, we go to state C. What will happen if we get a 1 in state B? So remember, when we are in state B, that means the first symbol scanned was 1. If the next symbol is also going to be 1, then that is the string starting with 1 and 1. String starts with two ones. Now, is it possible for such a string to be accepted by our machine? Our machine, remember, accepts strings only those strings which start with 1, 0. So, in state B, if we get a 1, the string starts with 1, 1. Those kind of strings can never be accepted by our machine. So, let us put that transition back to the dead state D. So, now we have completed state A and state B. We need to complete state C. Now think of state C. What does state C mean? State C means that we have found a string which starts with 1, 0. Now after this, whatever is the input symbol, does it really matter? After we have started the string with 1, 0, irrespective of whether we get 0 next or 1 next or whatever we get, the fact remains that our string started with 1, 0 and should be accepted by the machine. So in state C, irrespective of whether we get 1 or 0, we remain in state C, meaning that the string will continue to be accepted by the machine. So this completes the design of a DFA to accept all strings starting with 1, 0. A few things that we should note here is that we needed a dead state. 
right a dead state d to complete the machine secondly there is a loop on the final state now when we say loop what do we mean for every input symbol scanned the machine remains in the final state so once we reach state c whatever is the input symbol irrespective of whether it is 1 or 0 the machine will remain in state c so that means there is a loop on the final state now the length of the starting substring was 2 1 and 0 right the length of the starting substring was 2 and how many states did we require to complete the machine the number of states was 4 so these are the few observations that you should take from this discussion okay so let's now design a similar DFA which now accepts strings starting with 0, 1, 1. So there are three uh, three length string 0, 1, 1 and all strings starting with this uh, prefix should be accepted by our DFA. So what kind of a language then this DFA will accept? All strings starting with 0, 1, 1 right. So 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 and so on. Okay, any string that starts with 0, 1, 1 should be accepted by our machine. So we already know the design of such a machine. We will start from an initial state and then try to design a machine which accepts the smallest possible string in the language which is 0, 1, 1. So in state A, if we get 0, we go to state B. In state B, if we get 1, we go to state C. And in state C, if we get 1, we go to our final state which is F. Okay, now let's try to complete the machine. Now to complete the machine, first think of what will happen if I get 1 in state A. So if we get a 1 in state A, we should go to a dead state D because then there is no chance of the string starting with 0. And since D is a dead state, there will be a loop because then we will never go to the final state or any other state from state D because it's a dead state, right? Now let's complete state B. Now in state B, if we get a 1, we go to state C. What will happen if we get a 0 in state B? Now think of this. We are in state B, that means the previous input symbol was 0. If we get another 0, then is there a chance of the string starting with 0, 1, 1? The answer is no, right? So we should go to a dead state if we get a 0 from state B. In state C, if we get a 1, we go to state F. But what would happen if I get a 0 in state C? If I get a 0 in state C, that means the string is starting with 0, 1 and 0. Again, that kind of strings should not be accepted by our machine. So if we get a 0 in state C, we go to the dead state D. Now what about the final state? Once we have reached the final state F, that means the string has started with 0, 1, 1. So irrespective of what comes next, the string will be accepted by our machine. So there will be a loop in the final state. Whatever is the next input symbol, the string continues to be accepted by the machine. So again note that there is a dead state required for this machine. There is a loop on the final state. The length of the starting substring in this case is 3. The starting substring was uh, 0, 1, 1. And the number of states required was 5. So whenever you get a question in the exams which tells you to accept a DFA, uh, for all strings starting with a given substring, check the length of the substring. If the length of the starting substring is n, then the accepting DFA will consist of n plus 2 states. So remember this thing, you can check whether your design is correct or incorrect by looking at your design. If the length of the starting substring is n, your DFA should have n plus 2 states. There should be a dead state and there should be loop on the final state. These are the pointers to tell you that your design is correct or not. Now let's design a DFA to accept strings ending with 1, 1. This time we are designing DFA to accept strings which end with 1, 1. Our input symbol still remains the same, which is 0 and 1. So the kind of language accepted by your DFA will consist of all possible strings which end with 1, 1. Now, as per our strategy, we first implement a machine or design a machine which will accept the smallest possible string in the language in this case which is 1 1 so starting from the initial state if we get a 1 we go to another state b and in state b if we get a 1 we go to the final state f now let's complete the machine now in state a what will happen if i get 0 now look at this case right so in state a if i get a 0 
that means the string is starting with zero is it possible for us to find a string starting with zero but still acceptable to the machine the answer is yes for example 0 1 1 is such a string even 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 are all such strings which start with zero but still acceptable to the machine so what we can do is we can stay in the state a if we get input zero so we will continue to wait until we get a one in state a so as long as we get zero in state a we will continue to wait here now think of state b what happens if we get a zero in state b now if we get a zero in state b that means so far uh, the last input symbol scan was one and after that we got a zero so look at this kind of an input the last input symbol scan one was one and then we got a zero now it is still possible to get two ones after this and reach the final state right if you get a zero in state b it is still possible to get two more ones after that and reach the final state so which is the state from which if we get two ones we reach the final state the answer is state a from state a if we get two ones we will reach the final state so in state b if we get a zero we go back to state a since after this if we get two ones we can go to the final state now look at the final state what will happen if i get a zero in this state so we are in final state means the last two symbol scan were, were one and one so if we get a zero after that then we should not remain in the final state because the string is not ending with one one anymore but is it possible for the string to end with one one the answer is yes if we get two ones after that we can still end the string with one one so which is the state from which if we get two ones we go to the final state the answer is state a so in state f if we get a zero we go to state a now what will happen if i get a one in state f now look at this we are in state f means we have received two ones if we get another one is the string still ending with two ones the answer is yes so if we get another one in state f we will continue to remain in state f all right so what are the observations on this design firstly we did not require a dead state so whenever you are given a machine which should accept strings starting with a substring you need a dead state but if you want to design a machine to accept strings ending with a substring you do not need a dead state now there is no loop on the final set okay you may say okay it is looping with one but as i explained before when i say loop i mean that for every possible input symbol the machine will remain in the final state in this case for input symbol zero the machine is going out of the final state so there is no loop thirdly the length of the starting substring in this case was two and the number of states required were three so with this observation let us move on to the next design in this case also we are designed a machine over the input symbol 0 and 1 to accept strings ending with 101 okay so the language that is accepted by this machine will contain all possible strings that end with 101 now let's try to design this machine as per our strategy we will first design a machine to accept the smallest possible string in this language which is 101 so the machine will start from an initial state a if we get 1 in A, we go to B. If we get 0 in B, we go to C. And if we get 1 in C, we go to state F. Now, this is a machine which accepts the smallest uh, string in the language. Now, let's complete the machine. In state A, what happens if we get 0? As we discussed in the previous example, we will continue to wait in state A. In state B, what happens if we get a 1? In state B means we have received a 1. If we get another 1, something similar to this we got a one we are now getting another one we can still get a zero and one and go to the final state right so let's continue to wait in state b as long as we get one in state c if we get a zero then what happens so a zero in state c would mean that the input received so far is one zero zero can the string still end with one zero one the answer is yes if we receive one zero and one after that so which is the state from which if we receive 1, 0 and 1, we can go to the final state? That state is state A. So in state C, if we receive 0, we go to state A. Now let's talk about state F. So what will happen if we receive a 0 in state F? So the machine is in state F means that we have received 1, 0, 1 so far. So after that, we if we receive a 0 that is somewhat similar to this case you see we had received 101 so at this point of time the machine is in state f after that if we receive a 0 and then another one we can go back to the final state 
So at state f, if we receive a 0, we should go to a state from which if we receive a 1, we can come back to state f. So which is the state from which if we receive a 1, we can come back to state f? The answer is state c. So in state f, if we receive a 0, we should go to state c. Now what should happen if we receive a 1 in state f? So that means we had received 1, 0, 1 so far and after that we receive a 1. So after that if we receive a 1, we can get another 0 and a 1 to come back to state f and state b is the state from which if we receive a 0 and a 1, we can come back to state f. So in state f, if we receive a 1, we should go back to state b. So that concludes the design of the DFA which accepts strings ending with 1, 0, 1. So the points to note over here are firstly dead state is not required, secondly no loop on the final state, thirdly if the length of the ending substring is 3 then the number of states is 4. So in general if the length of ending substring is n then the accepting DFA will consist of n plus 1 states. So in this class we discussed about a few problems of DFA. In the next class, we will continue our discussion and solve some more problems on DFA. Thank you.